This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 2, number 104. So find the area of the triangle to the right. So here's our triangle, right? And we know that in general, the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half times the base times the height. But we don't have a base and a height. We're just given a triangle with one side and two of its angles, okay? So what I like to do first, um, if I'm given a triangle like floating in midair, I like to rest it on one of its sides. Um, and if it's not a right triangle, I like to rest it on the longest side. So let's go ahead and rotate this around, right? Because we're not changing the circ I mean the, the triangle by rotating it. And let's make the biggest side rest here on the floor, right? That means the angle 26 is coming up here. Let me do a little better, right? And right here we have angle 102, so something like this, right? Mm, I can't draw it too perfectly. But basically, um, angle 26 is here, right? 102 is up here, and side six we rotated it. It's going to be here, across from angle 26 six centimeters okay so I just drew the equivalent um, triangle so it's easier for me to see well given something like this I can quickly tell well this is the base here right it's called this the base and the or the perpendicular to the base height um, the altitude here is going to be my height all right so let me go ahead and label the triangle if this is B I'm just going to call this vertex B here. I'm going to call this vertex A, so this is little a, and this vertex C, so this is little c. Okay? So what I need to do, I need to find the length of B, and I need to find the length of H, right? The base and the height of my triangle, and then I can go ahead and plug it into this formula. All right. So I can easily find those things, right? I can use the law of cosines and the law of sines to help me, right? So <clears throat> how can I get the side length of B? Well, I know that the law of sines, this tells me that sine of angle 26, sine of angle A over side A is equal to sine of B over side B, right? And I can go ahead and use these to solve for B. Let me go ahead and multiply B by both sides to get it into the numerator. It's now in the denominator, right? So then I have B times sine over sine of big A over A equals to sine B. Let's multiply both sides by A to get it to the other side. Let's divide both sides. Then we have B sine A equals to sine B times A. Divide both sides by sine of angle A. These cancel. And I'm left with B is equal to sine of angle B times A over sine of angle A. Right? And I have angle B. I have side A. I have angle A. So I can plug them in. And side B is equal to sine of angle B. I know is 102 degrees. Right, this times side A, I know is 6 centimeters. Sine of angle A, well, I know angle A is 26 degrees. Okay, so there's my B. Let me go ahead and bring out my calculator. Make sure what mode I'm in because I want to be in degrees mode. And I'm in degrees mode, so let's go ahead and find out what this is. Sine of 102 times 6 divided by sine of 26 degrees. So I know that the base of my triangle here is equal to 13.3879377. Okay, I can round this, but I'm going to just get a lot of accuracy time finding my final area. I'll round at the very end, Okay, so not in these steps in between. So I know side B, right? I know, now I need to just find out the height of my triangle. Okay, so how can I find out the height of my triangle? Um, well, 
let's see. Well, can I find angle C? Because if I'm able to find angle C and I have a side of this triangle here, I can go ahead and look at this triangle and this angle, and I can use trig identities to find the height. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so what is angle C? Well, I know angle C can be found, right? Angle C is basically, I can say, well, if I add up angle A, B, and C, that should equal to 180. So 26 plus 102 plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Combine these, 128 plus angle C is 180. Subtract 128 from both sides. 180 minus 128 is going to be 52 degrees, right? 50, 60, 70, 80, yep, 52 degrees. So I can even write that in here. I found angle C. So I'm trying, to, my goal is to find H now. I found B, right? I found B is equal to 13.3879377 centimeters. So I can even write that, 13.3879377 centimeters. Okay, so all I need is the height and I'm done because I just plug it into my area formula and I find the area. So like I said, if I split this triangle up here, let's go ahead and split it up, right? I just have the right side of the triangle and it's now a right triangle. This is six centimeters as a hypotenuse. This is 52 degrees. Um, I don't know this side because I know the whole thing, but not just this side. And I don't know this side here, right? That's H. I want to find H. Well, since I have an angle and I have one side, I can use trig identities to find the other, right? So Katoa. So Katoa, right? So S stands for sine. So sine of my angle 52 is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite is H. The hypotenuse of this triangle is the longest side here across from the 90 degree angle of 6 um, centimeters, not meters, centimeters. So this is over 6. So I can use this right here to solve for H, right? Multiply 6 to both sides. And I get these cancel out. I get 6 times sine of 52 degrees is equal to H. Voila. Let's use our calculator to go ahead and get that. 6 times sine of 52 degrees. I know is now H is 4.72806452. Finally, I can use the height now because that's the same H here, to go ahead and find the area of my triangle, which is what I'm trying to do in the first place. So that's equal to 1 half times the base. I, count, I found the base is 13.3879377. The height is 4.72, right here, 8064522. Two. So what is the area of my triangle? One half times thirteen point three eight seven nine three seven seven times four point seven two eight zero six four five two two. Okay. Now I'm going to round because I have my final answer. I'm going to round it to two digits after the decimal place. 31.649, so that 9 makes the 4 go up, so to 6, 5. What are my units? Centimeters. And area is squared units, so centimeters squared. So the area of my triangle is approximately, it's not exactly, because I round, 31.65 centimeters squared. Okay? So again... To find the area of the triangle, I kind of looked at it in a different perspective. I rotated it around so I could see the base is one side. And I see the height is the distance from, um, just the vertical distance from the base at an altitude, right? 
and I solved for the base using the law of sines and I solved for the height using just half this or just part of this triangle right the right side of it giving me a right triangle and using trig identities to solve for the value of the height okay so this is going to end for us CPM pre-calculus chapter 2 number 104